Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Fitzwong TV here, aka Jinlon33. I'm back with another video on the channel for you guys. And today, this is your Dragon Ball Daima Episode 3 review and reaction. Um, hope you guys are enjoying Dragon Ball Daima so far. We are three episodes in, and so far, I'm loving it. I am loving it. It's different, but it also has so much of what makes Dragon Ball good at the same time. Um... So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, right? Hit the bell right next to my name, Fitzwing TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. We do Daima reactions and reviews here every single week. Um, so, depending on when you guys are watching this video, my episode 3 reaction will be out um, sometime this weekend. Um, if you guys are watching it after this weekend, the reaction is probably already live on the channel. So, go check that out if you guys haven't already. But, yeah, let's get into it. So... Basically, um, uh, last episode, we saw Goku and the others turn mini, and we saw them react to that. Um, they also were trying to come up with a plan to get to into the Demon Realm so that they could save Dende, who had been taken uh, by King Goma um, and the Degasu at the beginning of the second episode, right? Um, as Bomo was trying to repair the Supreme Kai spaceship, um, we see Glorio make an appearance, um, and he introduces himself to our heroes and requests that Goku comes with him to the Demon Realm at the request of the, the third Demon Realm World King, right, um, to defeat Goma. So we're seeing Goku already put in, like, the middle of this conspiracy, um, that we've been talking about since Daima was announced, um... So Goku agrees, of course, because of course he wants to save Dende, and of course find a way to turn um, him and his friends back into their normal adult selves, right? And then we see the Supreme Kai come along as well, and then basically we, you know, this becomes kind of like the A team, at least for the beginning of you know Daima, because we know that uh, Piccolo, Vegeta, uh, Kabito, Boma, they will be coming a little bit later um, once Boma has finished making repairs to uh, the spaceship. Um, the Supreme Kai um, had. So, picking up uh, in this episode, we see Goku and the others get into the Demon Realm. Goku is hilarious, all right? He's just so carefree, nonchalant, and hilarious with everybody he reacts with. He has a lot of funny moments here, man. Um, so, as they're traveling, you know, to the Demon Realm, they uh, get to this Warp Sama, which is like the, the big giant fish. And the first thing Goku does is he's, he almost starts like, now, he doesn't mean it, but he like not directly, you know, insults the fish. He's like, you look like a giant goldfish, right? And you can see at first the fish is, or the warp sum is like, I am not a fish, right? And Goku's like, no, you totally look like a fish, you know? And the Supreme Kai is literally just like trying to cover up Goku's mouth because, you know, Goku doesn't care. Goku, you know, he doesn't think before he says something. So, you know, after a while, he, he actually says, okay, if you're not a giant fish, you're a Popeye fish, which is like worse, right? And you could tell, like, the Warp Sama's, like, eyes are all getting red. He's getting flustered and pissed off, you know. Um, and the Supreme Kai is like, Goku, what you're doing? If you keep, like, pissing him off, he's not going to let us into the Demon Realm. You're, like, you're cooking us here, man, you know. So, go, uh, so the Supreme Kai is literally holding Goku uh, back from saying anything else that's going to get them in trouble. And then... Um, Glorio's like, oh, uh, like, I'm here to return to the Demon Realm, right? He has, like, a passcode and everything. Um, and a uh, funny part, if you guys look at the background of, of the video, um, you see, um, basically, uh, to prove that you're from the Demon Realm, basically, almost at most people, right? It was confirmed this in the other episode, but most people have, like, these, uh, these uh, straight, you know, pointy ears, right? Goku has normal ears, um... So what happens is uh, the War Sama asks us to see Glorio's ears, right? The Supreme Kai has pointy ears. Of course, it makes sense because uh, Supreme Kai's clan is from the Demon Realm. And, of course, the Degasu, his brother, and Dr. Orenzu, um, his sister, are also from the Demon Realm. But when it comes to Goku, right, the Supreme Kai uses his magic to uh, turn his ears into pointy ears to make him look like he's from the demon realm which we get but it looks a little bit funny you see goku's like kind of screaming like ow 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 because he's his ears are literally turning pointy um in the moment um but it works and they're actually able to get into the warp sama uh, and get into uh the demon realm one thing that was interesting to note well two things um 
when the Supreme Kai was asking about how, or Goku asks like how strong King Goma is, and he actually calls him by the wrong name. Instead of calling King Goma, he calls him King Toma, right? What happens is, uh, basically they say, uh, Glorio says that, oh, because Go- Glorio knows that Goku defeated Majin Buu. Basically, uh, Glorio's like, oh, you know, um, what makes King Goma dangerous is he has these magic abilities, right? And you know who that reminded me of? Of course, it reminded me of Moro. One of the best things about Moro, if you guys haven't read the Dragon Ball Super Manga saga, is he's not just strong, but his whole fighting style is centered around his magic abilities, you know? So he has these weird magic abilities um, that sometimes where instead of using key, he just uses magic, which can make it harder to sense. And it's one of the things that make him such a unique villain because this is something that we had not seen Goku really face in the past. Right. Now that we have Daima, we learned that, you know, Goma, you know, he's not super strong, but most of his ability is around his magic abilities. So it's going to be interesting once we get, you know, eventually when we get Goma versus Goku or Goma versus the others to compare Goma's magic abilities to that of Moro. Right. So for those of you guys who haven't read the Dragon Ball Super manga, might be a good time to go read it and, you know, go, uh, uh, learn about Moro and his magic abilities and see what similarities we get when we see eventually King Goma in action. So, uh, another thing that uh, we noticed is basically there are three uh, different parts of the Demon Realm. There's three unique worlds of the Demon Realm. Each have their, you know, own king their and their own different style. And the way I looked at it is, um, basically, there's the first Demon Realm where King Goma lives. So it's kind of like that's like the higher class, right? You know, the highest class of demon on people. Then you have the middle class, which is like the second world. It's like a green world, right? And then you have the third demon realm, which was behind the yellow door, um, which is where Goku and the others um, landed in. And then that world had more of like a lower class sense, you know, where there's not many rich people. You know, it seems like there's lots of bandits flying around. It's like more like survival of the fittest type vibes. So... What I think is two things I'm thinking. I'm thinking, of course, they end up in the first, the third part of the Demon Realm. And even though Glorio does mention that he can travel between the other Demon Realms through, like, this special tunnel, right? But he can only do that but when he has work to do. Not everyone's allowed to travel between all three Demon Realms, you know? Only people of the first Demon World um, can go to ed- the second and the third at will and only... Some select people from the second demon world can go into like the first and the third demon world. Most people from the third demon world cannot go into the other two worlds of the demon wor- uh, demon realm unless they have like some kind of special permission or you know they have something they you know are at the request of somebody um, to get into those worlds, which is interesting. So I think for, you know we don't know how long Daima will be, but let's say it's like a little over twenty episodes, right? Um. It's going to be interesting to see Goku and the others um, basically kind of like have to work their way up to Goma. Because it would be too easy. It would be classic Dragon Ball and it would be way too easy for them to just go into the first Demon Realm uh, world and then fight King Goma. That's going to be it. It's not. It's Dragon Ball. It's never that simple. Right? You know, we always know that uh, the villains, right, of Dragon Ball, they get stronger through each arc. The next villain is all, always the strongest one. Right at that time. So no matter if it's King Goma or it's another enemy that we haven't met yet. Right. Um, we know that, you know, this this enemy will be challenging the Goku and the others in some way. They're not going to be stronger than like Golden Frieza or Jiren or anything like that. Of course, since Dragon Ball Super hadn't even take place yet. But it's going to be enough to challenge them because we know that Goku is stronger than he was in the Buu Saga at this point in time. Kind of. Right. And we'll get to that in just a sec as well. Um... So after that, right, we see Goku and the others. Um, as you know, I think, like I said, I think Goku and the others are gonna have to fight their way up, slowly make their way to the first demon realm or the first demon world. Or what's gonna happen is, right, Goku and the others when they're you know they're gonna meet Pansy next episode that was showed us in the next uh, episode preview, and then um, they're gonna you know slowly try to make their way through the the third demon world. And then what happens is. Vegeta, when Vegeta, Bulma, and Piccolo, and all of them get into the demon world, or into the demon realm, they might end up in, like, the second demon world somehow, 
right? And then Goku and the others will, like, meet them, like, halfway, right? And then that's when they'll all be together, and then, you know, they'll, they'll keep going through the demon world up to until they fight King Goma and then all that good stuff. So that's what I think is going to happen, one of those two things. Um, like it's because, like I said, it would be too easy just to put them in the first demon world, right? And I think if you guys remember with like all of the promotional material that we got for this show, right? Um, if you guys look, we saw there was different parts of the demon world. You know, it seemed like one part you could see like the powers. There was like another part in the mode that kind of looked like Planet Namek, right? Um, and then there was like a, th a third part of the demon realm that you know is where Goku is right now. So I feel like those represent like the three different demon worlds that we're gonna see Goku and the others explore throughout this show, um, which is cool. So we see them. They end up in um, into the demon realm, right? The third demon world, and you can see um, it, it looks cool. It looks just as cool as we've seen in all the promotional material in the past. Um, and then uh, we see, as you know, Goku is captivated by all this. He even asks um, Glorio. He's like, um, he's like, hey, uh, let me go outside. I want to, I want to feel the air, right? I want to, you know, feel, feel the presence, right? And then, um, so it's funny as you know, Goku's getting up. He, he's 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 adventuring all this other stuff. Um, and basically he, he, uh, as Glorio and the Supreme Kai are talking, right, Glorio is explained to the Supreme Kai, like, basically how he was asked to come get Goku from the king of the third demon world, right, and then Supreme Kai is asking all these questions about the work that Glorio does and everything, and Glorio, you know, he, you could tell Glorio was a little bit, like, kind of like, wow, why are you asking all them questions, you know what I mean, <laughs> um, you know, because I, of course, the Supreme Kai thinks there's a little bit more to, going on here with Glorio than, you know, than meets the eye. So far, he could be right, he could be wrong. I, I'm liking Glorio, though. He hasn't given me any reason to really suspect him, but you never know. You never know. Um, so then what happens, you know, Goku's, like, following, like, this little cat, right? Um, and basically, uh, basically, Goku's about to, like, fall off a cliff, and go, and then uh, Glorio's like, Duh. Goku, like, be careful. Like, you're about to fall into, like, this sea of darkness. I, I forget what it's called. And then, basically, um, Glorio explains, like, if you fall there, you'll never be able to come back, right? And then, all of a sudden, Goku's, like, instincts, his Spider-Man sense comes into play. And he sees, like, uh, we see these bandits, like, trying to throw arrows at Goku and the others. But they're, like, insanely slow. So, Goku's able to dodge them without, you know, barely having to give any effort, Right? And one thing we learn is that there's this smell that's coming from like these volcanoes, these like floating volcanoes, and oh, you know, other parts of the of the world that cause the air to be super heavy, right? So then I'm thinking, okay, this is how we're nerfing Goku, right? You know, of course, one Goku doesn't have complete control of his balance yet because he was turned mini, you know, so he's been working the last couple episodes to try to get use of that balance, right? Um, so he can best use his power while he's in his mini form. And then they also had to, like, the air was heavy. So it reminded me, of course, of the gravity trainer, uh, the gap, the gra the, yeah, Goku's gravity trainer from the Namek saga when he was flying the planet Namek, right? It's like Goku has to get used to, like, the, the gravity of the demon world all over again. And now it's even more difficult because he is mini. So I can definitely see, like, part of the story here being is, like, you know, as the show progresses, Goku and the others have to get used to the demon world, right? And, like, the gravity of it, you know? And then as they get more and more used to it, they'll be able to unlock more of their power, like maybe Kaioken and Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, um, etc. You know? And so that's going to be part of the story with Goku moving forward. So I, I so this is kind of like how they're nerfing Goku here um, for the duration of this show. But, of course, knowing Goku, he'll get used to it because that's who Goku is. So... Um, we get back into the, they get back into the ship, All right? And Gloria also explains, like, how his plane can't fly really fast because, you know, uh, just because the demon, the way the demon world's air is set up, if he flies too fast, it'll destroy, like, the machinery of the plane, right? And then, you know, Goku makes a, a funny content, uh, comment, like, oh, like, with the way that the air smells, you know, I, I bet I could fart and not, and, and you know, nobody would notice, right? Supreme Kai says that's cruel, uh, cruel. And then basically, just literally two minutes later, uh, the Glorio says, oh, like, the air got a little bit nastier uh, all of a sudden. 
And Goku's like, you know, he literally can't hold himself. And basically he's like, yeah, you know, sorry. I tried to trick y'all, but it was, you know, it was me. Uh, I farted, which is absolutely hilarious. That was a funny moment. So then basically we see um, they get to this hotel, right? And it's like the only hotel in that region of the third demon world. So it's like it's more of they give you that those vibes of like this is kind of like more a little more lower class, right? Um, and you know, Gloria, well, Gloria's like a little badass here. So you see all these people looking at Goku and the Supreme Kai, um, walking in, and they can tell right away that they're not from the demon realm because their their ears aren't pointy; they're more round. So Gloria goes to basically this hotel. Um, basically says, this is where we'll stay tonight, you know, um, and then tomorrow we'll get back at it, because basically, if they were on Earth, it'd be middle of the night, so Goku and the others should be, you know, they should be a little bit tired right now, so, Gloria goes to, like, the hotel receptionist, and the hotel receptionist is, like, trying to rip him off, you know, like, it's, like, 30,000 Doku, something like that, that's, like, the way currency goes in that part of the demon realm, it's not money, um, and instead Gloria was like, what's the big idea, like, I, I know you're trying to, like, screw me here, right, and basically, um, the guy sees that Gloria has, like, a little gun on him, so he's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir, like, 5,000 instead, so he gets the key, right, and... What happens after that is, you know, of course, I knew it right away. Goku was like, I can't go to bed like this. I'm hungry. Even though, like, he had only ate us a little bit ago back on Earth right as Glorio had appeared. Um, and basically, G Glorio takes him to a bar, the, you know, a nice little pub right across the street from the hotel where they have, like, hamburgers, right? And Goku's eating the hamburgers. He doesn't want to drink. You know, Goku ain't about that alcohol life. He's like, oh, no, nah, I just want five hamburgers. Um, and he's like eating them like with you know quickly with this one bite, classic Goku. Um, and you know, Glorio and the Supreme Guy are having like an alcoholic beverage, which is kind of funny. That's not something you really see in Dragon Ball or anime in general, really. So, all of a sudden, the people that were looking at Goku and the others, they were like, "Hey, you like you're 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 not from around here, now we can tell." Um. And basically, they're trying to hustle Glorio and Goku. And Goku's like, huh? Like, what the what the hell's going on here? And basically, um, one of them attacks Glorio. But Glorio hits him with, a, like, a crazy uppercut and, like, elbow combo. Looking clean, right? And then he's starting to, like, use his spirit gun or whatever. We don't know, like his pistol weapon. And then they try to attack Goku. And Goku, while he's eating, we get this, like, awesome, like, two-minute scene of Goku just whooping their ass without even, you know, um... You know, having to use the power pole or any key blast, right? He just he, he uses like the plates to like hit one of the demon um one of the demons in the head, um, which was pretty damn cool. Um and yeah, basically Goku's just whooping ass while eating hamburgers at the same time. Um and basically some of like his, his hamburgers fell just because he was busy fighting. So Gloria was just like at the end is like we're gonna need another drink and two more hamburgers, and the and the guys like right away. Which was, so it was a pretty cool scene, you know. The action and the animation looks really, really good, and that gets me more excited to, like when we get deeper in the series and the fights get a little bit, you know, uh, more intense, right? That gets me excited. Um, so like basically, and Goku says, "All right, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this, uh, of the air." Um, Plus the balance of my smaller body. So like I said, that's going to be something for Goku and, you know, probably Vegeta as well to work on as the show progresses. We can see Goku slowly starting to get the hang of it, which was pretty cool. Um, near the end of the episode, we see then uh, Goku, the Supreme Kai, sleeping in a bed together. All right. at the And then in the morning comes up, Goku is still snoring uh, to Kingdom Come. And, uh, you know, then Glorio knocks on the door to wake them up because they got to get a move on. Uh, and then, you know, Goku's, like, yawning, and then they wake up, and then the end of the episode, the episode ends, basically, the bandits that Goku and Gloria whooped the night before, they decide to steal Gloria's plane, right, they hijack it, um, so now it's gonna make it a lot more difficult for Goku and the others to travel throughout the demon realm there, so, I think next episode, that's where the episode ends, so that's, so I think next episode will be them trying to get Gloria's plane back, right, because, of course, of course, he needs it to, you know, fly between realms and even, you know, get them back home, you know, whenever this uh, this adventure ends. Um, and then, 
uh, basically, we also see in the next episode preview Goku finally using the power pole a little bit, which is cool. And it seemed like at the end we see Pansy. So we know that Pansy wears like a little bit of a mask. Um, so, uh, and we know that she'll t- eventually take the mask off. So next week in episode four will be our first introduction to Pansy. We'll get to get to see some Goku power pole action. And then we'll see them trying to, you know, get what looks like Glorial Spaceship um, back from the bandits. So good stuff. Good stuff here. So the adventure in the Demon Realm has officially began. You know, we're already seeing Goku piss people off already and, you know, cause trouble. Um, but, you know, that's what we love. That's Dragon Ball right there. So, yeah, so Goku and the others, you know, doing their thing. Doing their thing. So, so far, so good. So, yeah, but let me know what you guys thought of the episode. I, I, like I said, three episodes in, you know, has the has it been a little bit slow at times? Sure. But like I said, this, you know, this is... Oh, you know, there's going to be a lot. This is a lot of like slice of life adventure type style mixed in with your classic Dragon Ball fights. Right. And I'm enjoying it. You know, I mean, I'm enjoying seeing Goku with all the jokes he's he's telling. Right. That's naturally being his nonchalant self. Glorio's a badass. You know, Supreme Kai is doing his thing here and there. Right. You know, for the first time, he actually felt, you know, um, he felt a little bit important when he, you know, turned Goku's ears into pointy ears so it looked like he was from the Demon Realm, right? Like, because both the times the Supreme Guy just looks, point, you know, helpless half the time. Like, why the hell are you there? It's good to see the Supreme Guy actually using some of his power to use for once, you know, in this episode, right? Um, but, of course, my favorite part, I've already said it. Um, of course, was Goku just eating the hamburgers and then this whooping ass while eating the hamburgers. That was pretty cool. Um... But yeah, you know, uh, I'm excited to be officially introduced to Pansy. You know, she she has a, she her personality reminds me a little bit like Khalifa, you know, from Dragon Ball Super, uh, mixed in uh, with like a little bit of like a Videl slash Pan in a way. She has like super high energy and she's like super excited uh, about things. So I am you know excited to see how Pansy um is introduced next episode and see her you know interacting with Goku and company. Um, but yeah. So far, so good. Uh, I'm enjoying it. You know, it was cool to get a little bit of action here. I'm um, in there, and I, I like that we're getting a little bit of that balance. You know, here early on with the show. Of course, like I said, the action will pick up a lot more as you know Diamond progresses. But yeah, let me know in the comments section what you guys thought. What was your favorite part of the a- episode? Was if there was a favorite scene? Was it some dialogue? Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Hit the bell right next to my name, Fitzbong TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video. Make sure to go check out the official reactions to Dragon Ball Daima, all episodes. If you guys haven't seen episode one, two, or three, go check those out. Those are live on the channel. Follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below. Like I said, we do this every single week. So this is your home for all things Dragon Ball Daima. But uh, other than that, that's about all I got for you guys today. I will see you all later.